Hey guys and gals, A here. Welcome to another episode of EDC. Uh, so today we are talking flashlights. I have teased these flashlights for a very long time now. You have seen like bits and pieces of them in different videos and how they've been out. Today's the day. You finally get to see these flashlights and I will tell you how to get them done. So want to know what they are and what they actually look like? Come on back because here we go. All right, guys and gals. So these are uh, flashlights. I got them done in a pattern that I really like. Um, and uh, I kind of wanted something different. Like I, I wanted something that was in kind of the black camo pattern. Like you guys know of my love of black multicam. I absolutely, absolutely love it. And uh, I wanted something in that vein, but I wanted a good flashlight. Like I didn't want a you know, five or $10 Chinese wonky flashlight that was a cool pattern, but a terrible light. And so I actually came across this guy called Nocturnal Laser Works, and I will link him below. Uh, he has Facebook, he has Instagram. I will link all of his places that I have below so you can check him out yourself. But basically I sent him flashlights and he, uh, he laser etched them into designs that we had spoken about and then sent them back to me. And so I went with Olights. I think he works on a lot of Olights. I'm sure he could work on other styles, but that would be something if, if you're interested that you would have to ask him. But I got these uh, kind of camo-y tiger stripe. So what these are, and I'll, I'll start with the larger one because it'll be easier to see. So this was a solid black flashlight and he's laser etched it to get to this color and then he laser etched it more to get to that lighter color so it is textured like you can definitely there's some texture and grip onto this from the different layers of material and it's not that noticeable between the uh, black and that first gray that deeper gray but you can really feel it when he gets down to this this lighter color like he's definitely taken off some layers so it gives it a feel to it um, I have carried this now for months. I don't, I'm not exactly sure when this was done. I want to say January. So it's been carried around with me for a while now. And as you can see, nothing at all is happening to the exposed metal or the, the uh, color that is the lightest. Um, but that is just one of the many patterns he does. And you know, if you have a different colored O-light, if you have an orange O-light, it would be, you know, orange, with a with whatever color is initially under it and then that base color as well um this would probably look really awesome in the blue that olight does um but these aren't the only patterns he has he has like a digicam type pattern um and he does a ton of different things but i absolutely love this flashlight so this is the olight baton 3 pro uh, it is a very good sized edc light slightly bigger than than my forefinger grip on my hand so if you have a larger hand you could probably almost fully enclose this in your hand but i just think it looks incredible and this light uh, itself not a review on the light but this light gets crazy bright um so i highly recommend this light in itself just as a cool edc light but pairing up this light with the laser etching of your choice, which could definitely be this black camo as mine is, the tiger stripe camo. And so here's the smaller one that I got that same design on. So this is the uh, black tiger stripe camo, and uh, this is in the I3E EOS. Let's make sure that's correct, yep. I3E EOS, which is simply a twist light. So. I believe this is a one mode light yep but I think it looks awesome on both of these and I'm super impressed with that and yeah like I said definitely check him out if that's your jam I will probably send more lights to him in the future and get um, maybe add to this collection or get some other designs done but uh, Nocturnal Laser Works, the guy's really great. He does really solid work and he gives you like actual lead times like if he says hey 
I can have it done, you know, pretty quick once I get it, or I actually kind of backed up right now, so I'm gonna get that one a little later. He'll let you know. This one, I actually got uh, snuck in. So he was doing a batch of this tiger stripe when I happened to get mine sent to him. So he just kind of threw mine in with the mix and got it done. Um, whereas this one, I don't think he had ever done the tiger stripe pattern on something so small. So this was a test run for him. Um, this one was a, uh, let me take my time and, and lay it out and figure out how it works. And uh, I think it looks absolutely incredible. And uh, so he now does it on the small keychain light. But yeah, definitely check him out. Again, links below to him and to the Olight lights that I'm using. And uh, I hope you enjoy them. So you'll be seeing these a lot more now that I've actually showed them to you on camera. But I love those lights and this one has been carried in my uh, pouch here since I got it. I think I pocket carried it for a few days and then it got relegated to this pouch and actually knocked out my uh, camo warrior mini from the pouch that camo warrior mini had lived in that pouch for a very long time but there you go so definitely check him out if that's your jam and uh, kind of make your lights your own thanks so much for watching guys i will be back soon with more content and remember edc edc